Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel e-commerce tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about filter products by brands. So let's see how can we filter products by brand. So first of all, uh, let's display all brand on this shop page here. So for that, uh, go to the shop controller. So just go inside the app directory, HTTP controllers. And from here, let's open shop controller. And now inside this index method, uh, let's page here the brands so just write here brands and uh, page all brands so write here the model name brand colon colon order by and set the order by uh, name in ascending order okay so write here asc and then call here the get method okay and now let's uh, pass this brands to the view so inside this compact method just pass here brands okay and now save this now let's open the shop view so just go inside the resources directory then views and from here let's open shop.blade.php file and uh, let's find the brand filter so you can see here this is the brands filter okay now here uh, from this div, let's uh, remove this select control, okay? And now let's add here a new select control. So right here, you will tag and set the class list list inline and uh, MB margin bottom zero and also set the brand list class okay brand list and now close the evil tag and now inside this evil uh, just to display here the brand so add the uh, add here the for each directive for each then dollar brands add dollar brand okay and inside this for each just add here the li tag and set the class uh, list item okay list item and now close this li tag and inside this li uh, let's uh, add here uh, two span tag one for the name and checkbox and another for the product count inside the brand okay so first add here this span tag and set the class menu link menu dash link and py1 okay and this and uh, close this span and uh, inside this span tag just add here the checkbox so right here input type is equal to checkbox and uh, name is equal to brands and value is equal to double curly bracket dollar brand arrow id okay and also set the class chk brand chk dash brand okay and after this checkbox uh, let's display here the brand name so right here dollar brand arrow name and after this spend tag let's add your one more span tag and set the class text write and plot int okay and uh, close this span and inside this span tag let's display here the number of products in particular brand okay so right here brand arrow products arrow count method okay all right now save this and uh, let's check this page so go to the soft page and refresh the page and you can see here the brands okay brand one and brand two all right and now uh, 
uh, inside the filter uh, form inside this form let's uh, create here another hidden hidden field input uh, input type is equal to hidden and then name is equal to brands okay and also set here the id uh, let's say hdn brands all right and now inside the javascript uh, here let's handle the change event of checkbox for that let's write here dollar uh, input and inside the big bracket let's add here the name and inside the single quote just add here the name which is this one this brand's name okay so right here brands and now bind the change event so right here on change event okay change and add the callback function and inside this callback function just right here uh, first of all create a variable brands and inside this branch just assign the value a blank value okay blank a string and uh, now add here uh, each function like this dollar input name is equal to plants colon checked and uh, use here the each function and inside this each let's write here if if brands is equal is equal to blank then then add here brands plus is equal to dollar this dot val okay otherwise else Add here brands is equal to this one plus equal to comma plus this dot dollar this type dot val okay and after this let's uh, put this uh, brands value to the hidden field so right here this one dollar has hdn brands this is the id of hidden field this one dot value is equal to this value okay and now after this just submit the form so right here dollar fr and filter and call the submit method okay this one now save this and now go to the sub controller and here uh, let's create another variable here so right here dollar filter order so i'm just going to write here f underscore uh, brands okay p f underscore brands filter brands is equal to uh, uh, let's uh, get the f brands value from the value string so right here dollar request arrow query and inside this is to pass here brands okay and now here inside this query or uh, let's add here our where condition so just right here uh, first enter uh, press press enter and now add here the where condition where and inside this way just add here the function and pass query as a parameter query and inside this function just pass here the f branch value so you write here use dollar f underscore branch and now start the curly bracket and close the curly bracket okay and after this just add here the arrow
okay and inside this function let's add here the condition the dollar query arrow uh, first add here wherein wherein branch id and uh, use here the explode method so write here explore and pass the separator here comma and then f underscore branch okay and add one more condition here or where raw double quote and here the single quote inside this double quote and concatenate with dollar f underscore branch okay and uh, dot double quote and inside this just add here the single quote is equal to so uh, right here Okay, f brands is equal to uh, blank okay so right here this one this blank by the and now save this and it's showing error here Okay, add here the semicolon. Okay, now error gone. And now let's uh, pass this F branch value to the view. So inside this compact, just pass here this one F underscore branch. Okay, now save this and now go to the soft view file and uh, inside the brand for each here inside this checkbox let's add here if directive uh, if at the rate if in array in underscore array method and let's check if brand id brand and uh, arrow id and use here the explore and pass here the separator comma and then um, f underscore branch this one and after this uh, if in area this brand id and uh, if this brand id is exist in this array okay then let's display here checked is equal to checked otherwise okay and uh, let's close here the index uh, no need to add here the else part so just uh, leave it the else part and uh, it will check if brand id in uh, exist in this if branch array okay and this string will convert using explode method just convert into the array okay and uh, if brand id exist in this uh, array just add here the checked is equal to checked okay now save this and now uh, let's check so switch the browser and refresh the page and you can see here uh, brand 1 has 3 product and brand 2 has 1 product okay now let's check this one brand 2 and you can see here only one product here and if I uncheck this all product are showing here and now let's check the brand 1 
and this time you can see here the only three product if i check both one and you can see here the all products okay so in this way you can filter products by brand so that's all about products filter by brand so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching